Okay, here we are again with this 1956 Silvertone clock radio. Um, apparently the radio does not work, but as you can see right there, the clock does work. But it's not at the right timing right now, so I'll have to figure out how to fix how to get it back to the right time. As you can see down here, the day, I put it at the day, today's Tuesday, but the date thing, I need to figure out how to do that as well, because that, the date ain't right. Today is May 13, Tuesday, May 13th, 2014, and today is my dad's 60th birthday. Mm -hmm. not. And next month, my mom is turning 58. So, yeah. So anyway, as you can see, the thing's spinning. So, this to show you that the clock does work. I just need to fix the timing. See what time is right now? It's 10:27. So, it's showing at obviously at 12:45. So I have to fix that. So, oh wait a minute. These don't. Ugh. Hold on, let me try to get the focus here. Let me zoom back out and zoom back in again. Alright, yeah, see, these were the controls for the work the radio. Hmm. Oops, I think I, uh. <laughs> there we go. Now you pull this thing for the alarm, which that don't work either. And then, and then you push it in for it to turn it off. And of course, down here was for the tuning for the station, but sadly, the radio doesn't work. In fact, it w it was working, but all it does was a loud buzzing noise. So apparently, I had to cut the cords. F I had to open it up and cut the cords off. So, but yeah, sadly the radio doesn't work, but at least the clock does work, so I'm happy with it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this a test video on this 1956 Silvertone clock radio model. Oh god, I forgot what model it is. 6025. Alright. All right, so anyway, it's a 1956 Silvertone clock radio model 6025. So all I got to say for now is that's it.